Because I don't like those things normally, but I don't know what else is going to work. We can put a zip tie through it, I guess. A little zip tie will work. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Billsoff. Now that I got the engine kind of set in the hole, what I want to do today is kind of mock up how I'm going to put my tranny cooler. Now the tranny cooler is normally on this side of the rad saddle over here. But I think I'm going to put it on this side because I don't have an air conditioner condenser. So until I get AC, I don't really need to worry about that too much. Because I don't need AC because I'm not a pussy. Eh? You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm thinking about doing is... I've got a piece of flat bar here, and I was going to make two cuts on each side of here to mount this tranny cooler because the tranny cooler is actually pretty big. It's a lot bigger tranny cooler than what I expected, so I'm going to kind of go in the middle with it. And that way, I have lots of room to bring the hoses out, and I have holes through here I can mount it to. Hey, what do you think of that? So let's get a couple measurements here, and maybe we'll uh, see if we got enough material to cut a couple of doohads or doohickeys or thingamabobbers, whatever the hell you want to call them. Those things. I can't hear right now, just so y'all know, because I've been outside for the last 10 minutes without hear protection, cleaning off the cross member. Because I'm going to reuse that cross member instead of buying one because I can't keep spending money. It doesn't grow on trees around here, you know. Where's my tape measure? Here it is. So I'm going to need two lengths about 17 inches as they say on both sides so that's pretty good so do we got two 17s what are two 17s 20 17 and se oh yeah we got lots we got our gym we got our down pat we do decent freaking right it's decent where's the chalk captain here it is so we'll take this bar here and we'll mark 17 and 17. we will so we got 17 there and then we'll come back this way because why not we got 17 here. So now we can cut that. We can. With a grinder. After I move my lines that I cocked over. That's okay. Because that's what I do. Hey, that's exactly what I do. So put this in the vise. Like so. And we'll change my grinding disc to a cutting disc. And then we'll cut a ruski it. Ready? I'm not. Oh, what the hell? Perfect. So now what we gotta do next is make sure they fit, which they will. I have no doubt. Look at that, Jim. Perfect. Very right, is perfect. Could have, you know, went a little bigger, but it's okay. So now we're right off the excess here. Make them smooth. How you doing? Pretty good. You? Good. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Okay. Yep. Yep. Easy. Yep. Okay. All right. Sure. Perfect. Oh, look at that. They're pretty much not even close. So now we'll put this back in the vise tight and we're going to drill holes for some stainless steel bolts. If I friggin' have any, which I should. Where's me other jar, Captain? Where is me other jar? Oh, here it is. Right here. Oh, watch out, he just painted them brackets. Hey, I'm all over the place today. Okay, these are a little long, but they'll work. Friggin' right, they will. So now we gotta get a drill bit, which we're gonna need probably that guy. And we're gonna need a small one for the rad brackets. So hopefully this is the right size. A lot of people pilot hole them, but I'm just gonna fucking send her because that's what I do. Just send her, Jim. And by the way, the other day when I was doing a video there on my bird feeders, I only have one bird feeder hanging up. There is still a couple out there, but hey, I didn't need a hundred of them. Okay, here we go, you ready? Right there, here it goes. Send it. Send it harder. Oh, easy. Oh, drill bit, no good. She's a dull prick. Let's send her with a little, little bit of a smaller one first. Oh, my drill bits are coming very scarce anymore, I'll tell you. Careful. Let's try this one. This one's a carbide, so it might work a little better. Ready? 
There she goes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I find if you don't go really fast with drill bits, they last longer. And I should be adding some lube to this too, but you know. Oh, careful. Oh. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, there it goes. Just had to make some noises, then it works. Okay, so now that the pilot hole's drilled, let's see if we can't send the bigger one back through it. Oh, careful. Oh, yeah. That's a good. Oh, fuck. Take it off, <laughs> fucking goddamn Chuck. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Let's... What the fuck? Now I'm on hammer drill. Oh, yeah. There we go. Is that the right one? Oh, dick. Sure is. And next. Next. And put her back in the vise. And we'll go at her again. Okay. Here we go. Send her with a small one. Here it goes. Let's try this full send in her this time. Oh, see? I full send her and it gets too hot and it starts to melt the bit. I don't have any lubricants. Let's just slow her back down a little bit. There she is. There we go. Big hole. Fuck. Perfect. All right, so those are my two big holes for mounting. Very good. So now we gotta determine the small holes for mounting the rad on here, which should be easy as shit. There we go. So first hole, we'll just kinda go with it. Kind of eyeball it to center, because it doesn't matter where it is. And then we'll do a measurement and a little markarooski. Measurement and a little markarooski. Measurement. Just so you know, I lost my pen already. Friggin' right I did. Where did it go? Where'd my friggin' ruler? Oh, here it is. Sorry about that. Okay, so we need, let's go six inches right on the money. Good enough. So now I'll put these two back together, and then we'll drill one hole so they'll both line up in the same spot. What do you think of that idea? I think that's a great idea. Freaking right I do. For this one, we just have to send a little bit. Here we go. Send it. Okay. That's one hell of a drill bit there, boys. Let me tell you what. Or how about let me tell you nothing. Let's go to the, the heavy steel bit. This one should walk right through like it's not even there. Ready? I think I was almost through. Just saying, I gotta go a little bit bigger. Well, that's, well, that's the same size, I think. I said a little bit bigger. Oh, right there, what's that one? That'll work. It's always nice to be a little bigger than too small, eh? You know what they say? Oh, I found a good bit, too. All right, so now that one's done, we can go line that up with a hole. I need something to line that up with a hole with here. Let's use a, the drill bit. Line her up with a hole. Then we'll do another measurement for the next hole, which is right friggin' there, somewhere. Right here, right there, right on the edge of that one. So stick this in the vise, and we'll do the same thing right fucking here. Ready, here we go. Careful. Here it goes. Send it. I said send it. Guess we're sending with the smaller bit again. Send it. Uh oh Perfect. Take that off. Bigger bit. Send it. Beautiful. All right, so there should be our brackets for mounting the raid. The, the, the cooler. Oh, yeah. These holes better be in the same spot. Oh, they're pretty close, though. They're right there, anyway. Yeah, that's good. Well, there you go. So there's the brackets for mounting the cooler. Mark the holes. And then we'll paint the whole thing, but not today probably, but I'm just saying. This rod, this thing, this, this doodad came with the things that stabbed through it and I can mount to that, but I don't know where they went. To tell you the truth, I might've threw them out because I don't like those things normally, but I don't know what else is gonna work. We can put a zip tie through it, I guess. A little zip tie will work. I'd rather have the things that come with though. Why wouldn't I kept them just in case? I had to have. Can anybody see them in the camera and I can't see them? See up there anywhere? What's that up here? Is that them? No, nope. valve seals. 
How about up here? See them up here anywhere? No? Down here? What's this? Oh, that's for gears for the tranny. No, no, no. I need a new jack. That jack don't work anymore, so that's gonna be fun trying to get under the truck. No, 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 no. Great. I'm almost positive. Hit it or threw it out. I know I did. I fucked up, boys. We're gonna have to put zip ties in her. Damn it. What's the difference if it's zip ties or not zip ties? Honestly, no difference. I'm gonna put some zip ties through this and get the holes and we'll mount it and then we'll take it apart. And yeah, let's do that because that way it's mounted and done. So, I, oh, hey, look what I just found. There they are, Captain. The only problem with these things is once you use them once, they're no good. So we can't friggin' zip them up like a zip tie. We gotta wait until we're done, but we can stick them in the hole to line them up. Here, I thought I threw them out, and there they are right there. I lied to myself. Now, who thinks these are gonna go through? Leave your comments down below. They should go right through this hole, because there's no thingamabobber there. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Not perfect. You stop that. Perfect. Look at that, gems. Not just one, two. Oh, dick. There you go. So see when I've done that? I put the little spacers on each side. They put the little doodads on, and that's what holds the rat in. I'm liking it, because now the whole thing is uncovered and nothing's gonna overheat. So let's just kind of set this in for now. And we'll see where it's gonna sit. So it's gonna sit right about there. Oh, so what I'm gonna have to do is probably zip tie this around this anyways, just to hold it for now so we can mount it properly. Now I did decide to go through the rad with the these, the the six one bobbers there, the six AN fittings. So I did decide to go through them. I do have some pieces coming that adapts the radiator, which I might get another one of these too, but I got adapters that come with a go down there and they go to six AN with 290. So I should be able to have all six AN throughout the whole thing. So that'll be awesome. What was I doing? Oh yeah, how was I gonna do that? I'm not thinking too hard there, am I? That's not gonna work. Okay, don't worry about it. Let's put it back in there. Let's uh, put it back in there and we'll uh, see if we can't mark a hole with a marker or something maybe. Mark, here we go. So I'll set this back in, like so. Okay, we'll bring it up and we'll put it right about there. Hopefully I can see that. I know you didn't because I moved you to the bench just as going down back down to here. So that wasn't very smart, was it? Marker, lid. Okay. 10 4. Drill. Light. Camera. Actiono. Okay, can you see the marker marks? Nope, I can't. Oh, there it is. Let's try to get closer. So here's one. Oh. This is market. <laughs> Where's the other one, Jim? Right here. How you doing? Okay. We need our small drill bit like I had before. Our small drill bit like I had before. Here it is. Oh my God, really? One, two, and then the top ones. Careful. Friggin' right it is. Go to the big one, boys. Let's see if the big one will go through. One, just don't drill through your gut. Really? Two, ooh, hey, two, yeah. Three. There it is, we did it. Friggin' right we did it. So now when I put four bolts on, stainless steel that is, it should slide right in. Who thinks it's gonna fit in the first try? Not me. I just want to make sure. Oh, see, especially when it does that. It's cocking me over. One. Oh, dick. Oh, I'm going backwards. Oh, God. What happened? Hold on a minute, boys. It's got to go this way. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's try this again. Yes. Okay. So far, so good. 
Yep. Yeah, there you go. So they all line up. So that's how the cooler will sit. Oh my God, man. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that transmission's holding the old exhaust down pretty good. So anyways, there you go. That's how to make a quick bracketry up for your transmission cooler. So it's out of the way and not uh, through the middle of the rat or anything, just off to the side. And then I can take my 6 a.m. fittings and I'm probably gonna drill through the rad saddle and come down along the frame. Or, well, one's gonna have to come up to this rad and then out of that rad into here, into here, and then it's gotta go out and down and back to the transmission. You understand what I'm saying? Probably not, but anyways. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit notification. Glad you're all here on this build, I appreciate it. And we'll uh, get this painted up and we'll see you on the next one.